Hey guys, it's Mike, Backyard Air Guns. Finally made it out to the range this week, got a sunny day in front of us. Thought I'd bring the Karma Red Panda out here and uh, try a little 100 yard accuracy test and a couple other tests. So the first two videos, uh, a couple things I'm gonna correct. Um, one, as I mentioned, barrel band, okay? That's really not a good term for what's up here. This is not a barrel band. Um, it's got a like a yoke here that connects the bottom rail to the top rail, the barrels in between. But the barrel, the barrel's free floating. It doesn't need a band, okay? It's solid steel. It's, there's no whip or wiggle in this barrel. So the word barrel band is not really accurate for this gun. Uh, and the second thing is, just to clarify, the plenum, gun comes with, the rifle comes with a 250 cc plenum. It's not all contained in this little section here that I pointed out. Okay, part of that plenum is up here in the barrel. So it's 250 cc that combines this little section down here on the bottom along with what's in the barrel. So just to clarify a couple things from the first two videos. Okay, uh, what I want to do is, um, I mentioned I think in part two, how good the trigger is, but you, know, you can still adjust this trigger in many, many ways. Longer pull, less pull, everything can be adjusted on the trigger. I like the way it is out of the box. There's really no need for me to adjust it. But I want to show the folks how it came to me out of the box. Again, I haven't touched the trigger, so I just want to do a, a quick three-shot trigger pull test, just to let you know, you know where it's at in the of the box. Eight point four ounces. Three point eight ounces. Something else that I really could show in the backyard is the cocky measure um, mechanism on this is really smooth. It's got a little bit longer throw and it just comes back with hardly any pressure. You do one finger. And, uh, and glides back in, so it's got a really good side lever cocky mechanism on this rifle. Right. Five point nine. Okay, so well under a pound. Uh, and again, you can adjust that up or down if you need it, but uh, for me, it's there's no need to mess with it. All right, the next quick test I want to do is a sound test. Um, this gun is loud. It's not a backyard gun, okay? It's a 30 cal bench, competition bench rifle. Not something you're really gonna be plinking around in your uh, your backyard. It's a little too loud for that anyway, but I just wanna put a rating on it so you know where it's at. Okay, I've, I've got the DV meter, you know, two and a half feet from the, the barrel, so it's gonna be loud. I've got a Don FL Rowan on here. Ninety-four point six. That's actually not too bad. Right next to the barrel. Ninety-five point seven. Ninety-five point six. So. That's what the Donnie fell rolling, which does a great job of keeping things quiet. Now I'm going to take the rolling off. I'm going to put on one of my favorite Donnie FL products. This is the muzzle brake. So no moderator, just muzzle brake. And I do have ear protection in it. One twelve point four. One twelve point eight. One twelve point eight. So um, that also speaks to the Don FL row and thing will quiet down. Uh, a rifle close to 20 decimals. All right, we're gonna do some 100 yard five five shot groups. Uh, it's a really windy day out here, so uh, it should be uh, make it a little more challenging for me.
Guys, we're gonna keep these videos short. I got several more parts coming out of the red, uh, red panda, caramel red panda. Um, this was just a little uh, quick range day to do some five shot groups down at 100 yards and uh, a couple of little tests. So I'm gonna stretch this thing out to some longer ranges, like 200, 300 yards. See what I do with that. I'm also gonna run some slugs in this thing. I know it's not a slug gun, but I get a lot of comments about slugs. So appreciate everybody watching. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.